Welcome back to another video. My name is Dawood. This is my wife Jasmine and we make all sorts of videos together. Today we are going to be filming an assumptions about us video and basically we're just going to be answering a bunch of assumptions that you guys have about us. Some are wild and some are not so much. So we're going to go through the most interesting slash common ones and hopefully you guys are entertained because I'm sure there are going to be a lot of weird ones there, in here. There, there is a few weird ones. <laughs> okay, so let's get started started the first one is you want to be more religious but right now you concentrate on other things what do you think about that? talking about you or me both of us i oh, guess both of us mm -hmm. um no but religion over everything yeah i agree i think a lot of people think that when you're like going after your career and you're doing all this stuff on social media and all that kind of thing your religion kind of comes in second and that's far from the truth we put religion over everything and we like are often facing decisions where we're like okay how do we see this in terms of our religion in terms of our faith does this match our image the type of image we want to portray and religion always comes first and we try our best to stick to our beliefs no matter what yeah i 100 percent agree with you and a lot of people do fall into that trap where they are so focused on their career they're trying to make it but they forget that god's on their side so yeah spending five minutes of your day praying you know, won't put you behind in any mm -hmm. any way, shape, or form. Yeah, so, as an example, yeah. Yeah, so, no, <laughs> that's the answer. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> Fault. <laughs> Next one is, y'all aren't really happy, you just do it for the camera. Ow. What? <laughs> Why? Warn me first. What am I supposed to warn you? Um. um. <laughs> <laughs> this one is like, okay. Like you, <laughs> listen, you don't know... Yeah, you don't know us. You really don't know us. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, what we show you on camera is a fraction of what our life really is. But 100% we are happy people. We are happy together. Um, and what we show you is like a representation of the truth. And the reason why I say representation of the truth is because we can't literally show you everything. Like there is a barrier between personal and social. And um, we are definitely happy. We don't do it for the cameras. Trust me, yeah. I am really bad at acting like I I'm think, happy on camera. <laughs> I think the one reason people enjoy our content is because we are just... You know, we're ourselves. Yes. Yeah. So I don't I don't know how to act. I don't know how to pretend. If someone told me take an acting gig right now, I'd fail. Yeah, 100%. he really sucks at acting. Yeah. He really, really sucks. Really at sucks. Acting. Like tell me to memorize a speech or anything like that. No, I'm the type of guy that lives in the moment. So right now yeah. I'm in the, living in the moment with my wife and this is how I am with her yeah. on or off the camera. You'll see us bicker in vlogs, pick on each other, all that kind of stuff. And that's that's reality, right? When we're sitting down in here showing like kind of talking to you guys in these like talking videos, you're not going to see our full relationship in just a 10-minute video or whatever, right? So we are happy people, but of course there's way more to our relationship than what you see on camera we can't tell you guys everything <laughs> <laughs> this actually takes us into our third assumption which is you guys never argue slash fight i wish yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> we, we literally argue we, yeah we argue we, we were literally arguing before this video and the argument was i'm going to tell you guys the argument the argument was the intro to this video so the intro to this video i go Hey guys, my name is Dewey. This is my wife Jasmine. We call sorts of videos together. She doesn't like it. I hate it. Okay. I enjoy it because I feel like it, it adds character, but let's leave it to you guys. Okay. <laughs> let's 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 settle it once and for all. It doesn't have to be in our video, so vote. Leave it or ditch it. Leave it. <laughs> um, but to answer your question or your assumption, yes, we do fight, we argue, but like any other all, person, yeah, any other couple. But not all the time. No, no, obviously not. And that, like, that wouldn't be a healthy relationship if you argue all the time. Yeah, surprisingly, maybe like once in a while. Yeah, and the thing is like we argue, if it's like, I don't count arguments as in like little silly things like, oh, take out the garbage or oh, why I'll is this here? Or, why are your socks? There? Like, you know, I don't count those as arguments. I count them more as in like, ugh, I'm annoyed. But real, real intense arguments, we rarely have them, but we do. Like, it's not like we don't. Yeah, I think we live, every couple we does. We live together. Yeah, and you're two separate human beings living in one household, seeing each other 24-7. You know, you're bound to disagree on something. I think people that don't argue ever in their relationship, 
It's I don't normal. even think that it's, exists. It's not, nor- it's no, not normal. No, it doesn't There's exist. something wrong. <laughs> that doesn't exist. That's creepy. No way. Even even those couples that you see that have the most perfect like relationship, they're always happy and smiling, they've definitely argued. Guys, think about it. You love your mom to death, right? But yet, you will always come into an argument with your mom. That's true. And that's the person you love to death. Imagine a partner. You obviously love them, but not as much as your mom. <laughs> <laughs> I love you more than my mom. Really? No. Okay. Actually, do I? <laughs> no, you're my wife. It's okay. You can love your mom more. Oh, sorry. My, my mom's definitely gonna watch this. <laughs> Y'all secretly trying to have a baby. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> We're not secretly we, trying we, to have like, a baby. Guys. We definitely want kids. Yes. But Inshallah. not now because honestly, I feel like we just got married. What's the rush? I feel like once you have kids, it takes away a lot of time for exploring, learning like new cultures, traveling. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, the pandemic's not helping at all. Like We had a trip we were supposed to go recently and it got canceled because of the pandemic. And, you know, I think the pandemic's slowing everything down. I think the pandemic put us like a year behind. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The the first year of our marriage wasn't experienced properly and we didn't get to experience it the way normal people do when they first get married. We didn't get to do all the things that normal people do and like, you know, they move in together, they go travel together, all that kind of stuff. And the one thing we really, really want to do is travel a lot before we have kids. Before we have kids. Because once we have them, you know, it's gonna... It will slow us down a little bit in that. And, And you guys may not get it like you might think like oh well tra- who cares about traveling but traveling is such an important thing for us like we bonded over traveling in our relationship and we absolutely love it so we definitely want to experience and grow and learn and even like in terms of our career yeah yeah i we was wanna, just about, yeah i was just about to say that we want to really like accelerate in our careers and yeah. figure ourselves out first and then inshallah when like i'll give you guys a perfect example my parents you know my mom pretty my dad and my mom obviously raised me but my, i was more closer to my mom than my dad because my dad was always at work yeah Right, I want to. Ha- I don't want that relationship with my my kids. I want my relation where I put one hundred ten percent on my, on my kids rather than my career. Yeah. So I'm, we're trying to figure that out. Obviously, we're not going to figure out to the full max by the time we have kids. But you know, we want to be on the track. Yeah, we want to be on that right track. So, mm-hmm. so we're not secretly trying to have a baby. And even if we were, we probably wouldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you both deep down regret not having a wedding because it was a one in a lifetime thing. Okay, answer this honestly. Yeah, you answer it honestly. I answer it honestly? Okay. I asked you first. Okay, final answer honestly. Okay, so I do not regret having a wedding whatsoever. I'm actually super glad that we didn't have a wedding for two reasons. One, because I don't really care for a wedding party. Like, bottom line is I don't really care for it. I love attending people's weddings. I love celebrating other people. But when it comes to me, I don't see it being something that I enjoy doing, being the center of attention, you know, all that stress and planning and whatever. That's just me. I know everyone's different. And then the other side of it is because we were supposed to get married during the pandemic yeah, and that would have ruined our plans we completely. So alhamdulillah, we were already on that mindset of not having a wedding. So it didn't yeah. bother us at all. Our Ketavik tip, like only thing I do, like I'm, I'm going to say this, only thing I don't, I do regret yeah. is our Ketavik tip was a little too small. Yeah, but the reason why we it's did it small we is because we thought we, we, thought we were going to do a wedding. Yeah, that's the only reason, yeah. that's the only thing I regret. If like, we knew from the beginning we were going to do a wedding. more of my friends. Yeah. Yeah. I would have done like a way more smaller parties, like a dinner party party for my friends yeah. or like a goodbye party with my friends yeah, or something yeah, we like didn't that. Do that i also don't like the fact that like i'm gonna be salty right now i also don't like the fact that no one threw me like a bridal you shower know, you know what i was just about <laughs> to say that and shame on you whoever your friends are watching shame on them <laughs> shame on you friends yeah no one really threw me like any party or you like a goodbye party or whatever so <laughs> yeah i was I pretty need upset new friends, too. guys <laughs> yeah but at the same time what happened was it, there was a yeah, pandemic. There was a pandemic. There was so a pandemic. I can't so. really blame them. But yeah. It but, would have been nice to have So that. my answer is I don't regret it either. I'm very happy. We got to purchase a house. We got to do a lot of cool things. But we got to travel. We still want to travel. Um, so I'm glad we didn't. I'm glad we didn't start our life off in debt. Mm. Because weddings do cost a lot. Especially here in Canada. Yeah. So yeah. I don't regret. Only thing that, Like I said, the only thing I do regret is not inviting my friends to the Katavik Dip. Or the, to the Nikah. Yes. Next, you are rich. Money, money, money. Guys, if I was rich, we would have had a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Straight fact. <laughs> you don't have many friends. Okay, maybe you don't have friends, but I have friends. Who are your friends? Your two cousins? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I used to have a lot of friends. A lot. Yeah, like, same. But I don't know, as you age and get older... I think high school and the beginning of university is like your peak yeah. of friendships. Like you have so many friends, you're in like a bunch of groups, lots of group chats on WhatsApp, and then they slowly start dying and yeah. dying. The thing yeah. is with me, I had a group of friends that were from my culture, and um, for some reason we stopped talking. And then I had also friends that weren't from my culture that were more like like Canadian or, you know, Italians, Portuguese. So I got really close to them. But I guess I didn't, I never felt like I was, I always felt like something was wrong. I always felt like I was an outsider because I'm Muslim and I am Lebanese. I've come from the Middle East. So I always felt like an outsider. And then eventually, you know, I do, I still respect them, but I don't, I don't hang out with them or I don't. I don't show with them anymore. Yeah, you grow apart from a freaking, lot of people. They didn't even freaking congratulate me. That's how like... Wow, we're being really salty in this I video. I know. <laughs> if, you, if any of those guys watch this video, wow, thanks for the congratulations. Um, I don't have many friends. No, I don't. I mean, I wish... I mean, I wish I had a lot of friends, but I just don't. So, I mean, I keep very like small circle. My best friend is my husband. I was just and... about to say, Jasmine, you got me. I'm your best yeah, friend. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It might be sad to you guys, but whatever. <laughs> No, no, like, but I have, like, I have, my thing is I have so many cousins that are around my yeah, age. Yeah, he grew up with a lot of family members that yeah, were the a same lot of age them, as him. a lot of them are here in Canada and in Hamilton. Yeah. My family's all in Lebanon. And, and her family's yeah. pretty much in Toronto, and they're, like, yeah. first in this family. And all, all the friends that I actually do have are in Toronto, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any friends here, so. <laughs> Who wants to be our friends? <laughs> You changed your name from Yasmin to Jasmine. Okay, should I answer this? Sure. Okay, so when I talk, to, when I interact with Jasmine, when I'm speaking to her in English, I call her Jasmine. But when I'm talking to her in Arabic, I call her Yasmin because they're both the same name, just one's in Arabic and one's in English. And I think a lot of people are confused when we change between the two. They're like, well, which one is your name? Which one's your name on yeah, paper? Like, which one does your mom call you and dad and whatever? So my name on my passport, on my birth certificate, on everything is Jasmine. Is Jasmine. Um, and the reason why my parents named it me Jasmine and not Yasmin, for example, in English is because they wanted to keep the same meaning for the name. So Jasmine is the Jasmine flower, Yasmin is the Yasmin flower, which is the same Jasmine flower, right? So that's the purpose of it, and I actually love the fact that they did that. And then in Arabic, when I go to Lebanon, on the paperwork that I have in Lebanon, it's Yasmin, because that's how it's written in Arabic. So Question, question, question. Yes. What do you prefer being called? Um, it totally depends on what language you're speaking to me in. Oh, so I'm good. So if you're speaking to me in English, I prefer Jasmine. And then if you're speaking to me in Arabic, I prefer Yasmin. Because if so if someone's speaking to me in Arabic and they go Jasmine, it's like it's like Jasmine. they stutter a little bit because yeah. it doesn't flow in, in Arabic. So it just depends on what language. But I answer to both, obviously, because they're both my name. <laughs> <laughs> You've dragged Dawood out of a haram lifestyle. That's not true. Not true. Uh, when I met him, he was already doing his thing for a few years, actually. Like, yeah. He was kind of on the right path and trying to change and be a better person. Um, and when I met him, I met him, I met this version of Zawood. I didn't meet any other version. And I'm kind of happy for that because I don't have the patience for any other version, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. So, no, I didn't drag him out of anything. If anything, um, we both make each other better people, um, especially religiously. So, yeah. Jasmine and Dawood don't want to say they're Sunni or Shia because they will lose followers. No, that's not true. We don't fear losing followers or anything like that. We just don't think our channel is centered around what sect we follow. Sect, religion, politics. That's not what our channel is all about. Our channel is about just portraying our lifestyle for what it is. And this is our lifestyle. We don't focus on that. And we try not to have that be a conversation ever on our channel because we just don't like entertaining the the whole like back and forth that happens when these type of topics yeah, come we, up. We absolutely hate, we see it on, we see we violence. We really don't on, like it. We, saw people, we see people bashing each other on on TikTok. TikTok, on social media, and and all that kind of stuff, and, and like we definitely don't want to get involved, whether we're Sunni or Shia. Doesn't... And I would never want to give people like that a platform to just kind of discuss and and not just discuss, like disrespect each other over something that is that they have literally no knowledge in. I I watched this is off to, a little bit off topic, but I watched a live session between a Sunni um, 
sheikh and a Shia Sayyid, and which is like the sheikh of Shias, I guess. So basically, they were having like um, a discussion, like a live discussion, and they were basically talking about the differences and the and the and the similarities between Shia and Sunni sects. And the one thing they kind of concluded at was after they finished the live, they said that the Sunni sheikh was saying. It is our responsibility as sheikhs or as scholars to discuss this openly on social media and to have healthy conversations about our similarities yeah. and our differences before we allow these young, uneducated, ignorant kids 100%. to discuss it on TikTok 100%. themselves. Like, like on TikTok, you have people like people that are like are uneducated or they, they have just one, one straight of thought for them to talk openly about yeah. what's wrong and what's right, what's haram, what's not haram. There's a reason why we have scholars yeah. and educated people that dedicate their lives to Islam and to these kind of conversations. We are in no place to judge anyone or like kind of give our opinion as if it's the truth if you if you are seeking knowledge about what sect or what anything about your religion you should go directly to your local sheikh or your local mosque and seek it from the proper person it's the same thing if you had a medical condition listening to people on tick i got a good one <laughs> listening to people on tiktok talk about religion is like going to google when you have a medical issue literally Google will tell you have cancer even if it's just a pimple on your face <laughs> and the internet and all the haram police will tell you that you're going to hell even if you haven't done anything. <laughs> so don't go to TikTok, don't go to social media, don't go to YouTube, um, especially to people who are not qualified. Always refer back to your local mosque, yeah, your there's, imams. There's so much like I, like now since since like I've been starting TikTok and watching TikToks, now I'm just skipping those videos. Like I, yeah. just, I watch them, someone will start I'm talking about it. religious. I'm like, yeah, no. Because I'm over it you know, because like, there's you're so not... much hate in the comments, so much arguments, yeah. there's so much like I And I like don't these like people it. they've grown so big on social media because of because of the those Because of the drama. Because of the drama. Yeah. Yeah, so and I disagree with it. So that's why we don't like. That's talk. why we don't talk about it. That's why we don't talk yeah. about it. That's why it's no one's business. We don't address it, whether we're Sunni we're or Shia. We're Muslim, and that's all that matters. Yeah. And if that's not enough for someone to, you know, like us as people, then we can't do much about that. So next. So this one is funny. <laughs> Dawood says sorry first after a fight. That's true. Yes. And because I'm the type of person that likes to solve something right when it happens. Mm -hmm. So I don't let, let it sit for half an hour. I don't let it dwell for a long time. There's some people that hold grudges. I'm the type of person when something goes like, let's say me and her argue. I want to figure it out right away because I don't like feeling her being upset. I don't like me feeling upset. I just like to, you know, get over it. Whereas for me, I like to let it marinate. <laughs> Let it sit overnight. <laughs> you let it sit overnight? No, you're like I'm me a little bit. No, I, maybe I've adjusted. I to, yeah. I've adjusted to become a little bit more like you where I like to solve things a little quicker. But regular Jasmine is silent treatment. Don't talk to me until I get over it. And which is, which is usually a few hours and I'll get over it myself. When you try to talk to me and I'm like upset or angry, I will immediately like, if I'm really, really fueling, I will cry. And I don't like that um, because then it doesn't get us anywhere. It's just me crying for no reason. So, so I like yeah. to just let it marinate and sit in silent treatment until I can get over so it. So yeah, I'm the, I'm the guy that says he sorry says first. He says sorry all the time <laughs> first, yeah. The next one is Dawood is a simp for Jasmine. Okay, I don't even know what simp yeah, means. Yeah, I've heard that word before. But I hate it already. So yeah. I'm going to look it up. Because we're clearly not Gen I Z or get, Gen whatever the hell I kind of get what simp means, but just look it up. What does simp mean? Because I'm apparently old now, so. Simp is an internet slang term describing a person, usually male, who performs excessive sympathy and attention towards another person, sometimes in pursuit of a sexual relationship. Urban Dictionary des defines a simp as someone who does way too much for a person they like. Okay. Ugh. Okay, so wait. You're supposed to be a simp That's a good for thing. your partner. I, I I love you. Yeah, you're supposed to. Okay, if this is the definition of simp, I think everyone should be simping. Hold up, I think people in like, a relationship. You know what? You know what it is. I think people what they're trying to what they're trying to say what that assumption is is because I like cleaning the house. I like doing the dishes. Yeah, like, like you're things. going out of your way as I a like, man. I like doing the blah, woman's blah, blah, job. Blah. You know that does not make me a simp because if listen, if Jasmine wasn't working, if she was like someone that just was a stay-at-home girl, like, doing her thing. No, yeah, I would expect her to, like, you know, keep the house clean, you know, because she's at home. But since me and her are both working, we contribute to everything 50-50, 50, 50, 50, 
I also like to contribute towards the I mean, house cleaning and stuff here, like that. Like, I live here, you know? And him doing that stuff doesn't make him a simp. It makes him a decent human yeah. being. And like, plus, I, I don't do the laundry. I don't do the bed. I don't make the yeah, bed. Yeah, I don't take out the trash. I, I don't go to work early yeah. in the morning. So, so like, like, I pretty much... We balance it out. I pretty much just do the dishes. I mop the floor sometimes. I vacuum sometimes. And I throw out the garbage. Yeah. That's pretty much it. That's all I do. Yeah. You've never made the bed. No, you clean washrooms. I clean washrooms sometimes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if simping if that's what simping means i think everyone should be a simp in a relationship yeah. anyways because you want to do those things for your partner nice happy wife happy life <laughs> last one we have on our list is you want a nose job i think this is directed at me because it was on my story um yeah my nose is good but your nose is good too oh thanks <laughs> <laughs> Um, and the answer to that assumption is no, I don't want a nose job. And this is only a, um, like a current answer that I have for you guys, because before when I was younger, I definitely wanted a nose job. Everyone in my family in Lebanon yeah, has a nose job. And the number one thing they used to ask me is, Oh, so when are you doing your nose job? Well, you don't need one. Well, yeah, according to my standards and according to the Western standards, I feel like we don't insult each other by saying you need a nose job usually like in the west yeah why is it like that especially in lebanon why is it like that i don't know what it's like but in the middle east it's like oh you need to get your teeth cleaned it's it's kind of like the saying like oh yeah you need to go get a nose job it's like the same you know it's such an easy process and everyone does it why haven't you done it it's so more beautiful blah 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 we have these like weird standards for beauty in the middle east and it's honestly i think the one thing i I, one of the things I really love about you is your nose. Really? Yeah, I love your nose. That's the number one thing that Dawood... That's, that's the first compliment, actually, that Dawood said to me when we first met. He's he was. I think I, we were sitting at the beach, and I remember this because it was like a game changer for me. I we were sitting on the beach. It was like in the evening, and then he like looked at me. He kept staring at my side profile, and like obviously awkward Jasmine's like, what are you looking at, right? Like kind of like changing the view because I don't want him to see my side profile because I didn't like it. And then he was like, I really like your nose. And I was like, that's the first time anyone has said that to me. And that literally changed my perspective on how I view my nose. You guys are watching, right? Take notes. <laughs> so, yeah, it really depends on your perspective and all that kind of stuff. And now I actually appreciate my features. I think it makes me look different than every other girl. Yeah, so bottom line is, no, I don't want a nose job anymore i used to want one and that's not definitely not in my future so alhamdulillah i've gotten over that and i feel like it's a very hard thing to get over but it takes a lot of work and yeah i had fun filming this video i hope you guys enjoyed it as well like the video and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe we'll love you for that and we'll see you in the next video bye peace out a town